So this is a quick look at my Alinko HD setup for mobile use, followed by a discussion on why you should not do it this way. So let's start by looking at my antenna install. Right here you see my Comet antenna along with my Comet lip mount, and I'll have uh, links to these products in the description below. I really like the placement of the antenna, even though it's uh, kind of compromised. Yeah, it should be at a higher point for uh, better performance, but being low here, it to me it looks better and it doesn't attract attention, so that's uh, why I put it there. So now let's go and take a closer look at the mount. So here's a closer look at my lip mount, looking at it from the top. What I really like about this mount is the thin coax right here. This thin coax goes easily through my insulation without getting crimped. And once it's inside, it becomes a thicker coax, which has lower loss. That's really what I like about this mount and why I chose it. So now let's move on inside and take a look at where the HD is. Please note that operating an electronic device while driving a vehicle can be very dangerous and even illegal in many areas. If you decide to replicate any of the things I'm showing in this video, please be sure to understand and accept the risk and consequences of those actions. So right there is my HD. I thought this was a really good position because very really reachable right next to the steering wheel and also high up enough so I don't have to take my eyes off the road while looking at the screen. Uh, the microphone is always attached. It's a small little uh, earpiece and I like it because I can just tuck it away. It's uh, kind of out of the way. I can just leave it over here. However, if you want to monitor, you always have to have this earpiece in your ear. So that's one disadvantage of this microphone. You really don't want to be fidgeting with this plug over here while driving. You want to keep it plugged in all the time. And you'll see I have this little adapter cable over here that make, connects it to my antenna cable. Now switching to a closer look at my mounting here. The mount really is a DIY mount. Let me take the thing off right here. It's a piece of plastic I had lying around. Just use some 3M tape to get it in. And it worked pretty well for me. It just was the right shape to have my belt clip go over it. And seems pretty stable, hasn't fallen off. Uh, you, you know, I had a few pieces of tape over here to reinforce it, but I really don't think I really need that. Now, I had some fun with this setup, but I would not recommend this to anybody else as a practical solution. Number one reason, the HD is simply not meant for mobile operation. Just the setup is different. The screen is too small to view. The numbers, the keys are not in the right place. So that's that's the main reason I would not use, I would not continue using this HD for mobile operations. So the number two reason for not using an HD in the car is this little antenna cable adapter. These are not designed to take the stress of being bent like this. This is my second one. The first one broke somewhere right here and that's why I put some tape here to reinforce it but I'm sure this will break too if I keep using it like this. And the other part is, yeah, you have to take the thing off to take your battery out every time you need to charge it. And while you're charging a your battery, unless you have a second one, you're not operating. Third reason not to use it this way, the static charge from the wind. Now, I have not had this happen to me, but I've heard from others where the static charge that builds up on your antenna as you're driving or just as you keep your antenna outside in a windy environment, it can damage your HT. The HT may not be able to take it. So that's uh, another reason right there. So my advice to anybody who wants to operate mobile is go ahead and get a mobile rig. Uh, yes, that's more money to spend. But if you go to a ham fest, you probably find something really cheap, like a single bander. I'm pretty sure you might find some deals under 50 bucks. So there you go. That's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you on the next one.